Now it is time for some home design tips and Hamish is here to tell us all about how to give winter the cold shoulder and create the snuggliest warm fortress of a bed. Morning Hamish. Good morning. It's yep. alright, I've got the answer. Yes. Electric blankets and hotties. Right, eh? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, Mike, for taking my whole time. Okay, no, so where do we begin then? Well, my whole world, world normally starts with a story. I'll make it brief, so okay. I'm not known for those normally. Um, uh, <laughs> other day, roll down, son said, Dad, read me book. Uh, I went, yes, of course, because that's what a good father does. Yes. Jumped in next to him in bed, and I was like, crikey dickens, this is freezing. Right. This is not warm enough. And I looked at him, he's a little person, you know, and they don't generate much heat. No. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, right, I need to I need to warm my child up. So I, uh, he, 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 you know, went to school, and Daddy got out some flannel sheets. Oh, yeah. I put oh, those on the bed yeah. for him. He climbs in the next night, he says, Dad, I have the snuggliest bed in the house. Oh, so in, nice. And there it is. Yeah. So oh, we're going to talk a little bit about warming your bedroom up. Not necessarily about having to plug an extra heater in and leave it running all night. And um, later on, Mel, we'll talk about electric blankets. <laughs> OK, so first up, we're going to talk flannelette sheets. OK. Uh, things I like with flannelette sheets um, mm -hmm. is try and buy a reasonable quality set because over time with washing of them, um, a, a lower quality one's going to pill and break yeah, down a lot more. Yeah, we're still on the Thomas the Tank Engine ones that are going fine. Yeah, you That's see, so if, if you're good, they just keep on trucking. Um, things to look for in them. Um, I always like to buy slightly oversized sheets. So if you've got a queen size bed, I buy king size sheets because I really like them to be tucked in. And that'll make more sense, of course, when you start layering other things like um, duvet covers and um, you know quilted throws and stuff like that. Okay. Right. Do you need so, to spend a lot of money on them? Well, uh, uh, you can. Yes. Um, money's not always something I worry about when it comes to buying things yes. for people. Like Especially this. sheets. I'm an yeah. interior designer, so I say, yes, let's have that <laughs> one. That looks pretty. I mean, we've got some examples for you anyway. <clears throat> OK, so from Kmart, um, they've got cotton flannelettes for $30. There we go. It's for the single. Oh, yeah. They seem nice. And they're patterned. They don't have to be plain. Mm -hmm. OK. Love, love Kmart. Um, love what have we got? Kmart. Briscoe's. They're around $60. I quite like those. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, you know, nice. They're nice and crisp. Okay, oh, and nice. these are $130 from a bed, bath and table, but they have a big sale on at the moment. So flannelette yeah. sheets don't have to be what they were. They can now be a little more exciting. And they'd hide the dribble marks <laughs> Do you know what? They're really bad for that. <laughs> oh, um, not that I dribble. Um, <laughs> yeah, course, but I have to say, my dear sweet fiance uh, climbed a bed and she didn't do the makeup off routine. And oh. wow. Wow. Very hard to get out of the flannelette. <laughs> Turn that pillow over. <laughs> Right, oh, you're going to be in trouble. I just said that. Yeah, aren't mate, I? you're going to be in trouble. Okay, moving so along. You need an extra seat of sheets because you'll be on the couch. Duvet covers. <laughs> okay, uh, duvet covers. Well, du duvet inners and the, and the different well, benefits inners, sorry, we've got. Yeah. Okay, because we're going to talk uh, a little bit about covers. Um, duvet inners. There's a multitude of them. There's you know down a feather. There's wool. There's cotton. Um, and there's many synthetics. It's probably about finding what's right for you. They all have slightly different weights and yeah. feel on your body. Some people like a slightly heavier weight on them. Mm. I don't. I prefer something lighter on top of me um, so I would probably stick with more of a synthetic one goose down ones they're lovely because they tend to regulate your body temperature quite well yeah. um, however ethically I have an issue with things that are plucked while they're alive yeah. right. okay, I've got a cheap one it's fine yep there we go Sorry okay you guys mentioned um, electric blankets yes. I'm not a huge fan I know Mel you love them that's absolutely fine uh, alternates for you okay we're gonna put some pictures up for you quilted throws okay this one here from CETA $179 this is where I'm at, rather than an electric blanket. Okay. Bed, bath, and table. Um, they do a heavy Egyptian cotton throw. Here it comes, and they're on sale at the moment. It's sixty dollars for a single of that. I quite like it. It's got a nice bit of texture and pattern. Yeah. And Briscoes, if you like your wool, you can still get your merino throws. Mm. Oh, I, I prefer like something quilted, but they are equally lovely. I love the traditional look with the uh, the satin edging. Nice work, thank you. Those bedrooms look amazing. And you said that's normal. I need you to come round and redesign my bedroom, I think. <laughs> thank you so much, Hamish. No problem.